You're welcome to Two Minutes in the Olive Garden. Today we are looking at Proverbs chapter 28, verse 28. When the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding. But when the wicked perish, the righteous thrive. Only two groups of persons can rise to power, the righteous or the wicked. Nations, families, companies, etc. are run by either the righteous or the wicked. If you have ever joined Night of Jacob on Facebook, you would have been most likely informed by now about the difference between physical enemies and spiritual enemies, the context in which we place praying for our enemies and the context in which we place praying against our enemies. Both are very biblical and very biblically right. Please listen to the words of God through the pen of Solomon, the wisest human being ever to have existed on earth. He says, But when the wicked perish, the righteous thrive. It means in order for the righteous to thrive, the wicked must perish. Take this from me, and of course from God's word. So, when you see wicked people on the land, whether they are witches, wizards, occultsmen, politicians, whoever they are, it is your mandate to ensure that they perish so the righteous will take over. That wicked man in the spirit realm ruling over your family, over your house, if he does not perish, forget about your smooth prosperity. The wicked and righteous cannot both thrive greatly on the same land. It is not possible for all the good men to be rich and all the bad men to be rich at the same time on the same land. No, it will not happen. It's either the righteous are in control of leadership or some strategic position in the land or the wicked are in control. It's as simple as that. It's either the righteous is ruling, the non-righteous are serving or the other way around. So do not allow the wicked to have their way. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.